greetings from the farm. Very quick day scouting uh, around the farm today. And where I am now, if you have a look around, is I am in the block, Westgate Block G. And this is where we have our um, eggplant. And just a very, very, very quick look around at some of the uh, beautiful eggplant uh, fruits that we have. Here's one day, beautiful, still very young, so we're not harvesting for a while, but as we keep walking around, we start seeing some pollinated flowers, lots of flowers, and ooh, one or two early, 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 early um, red fruits. Look at that, proper. This crop had a very funny story that we had done the nursery bed down in Riverside one a long time ago. Here's a quick look at that nursery bed. And then we uh, we almost gave up the time when we had no water. The Tongwa River had gone dry and uh, then it rained on the 11th and the 11 or two. There's some beautiful flowers and fruit there, the previous fruit. Excellent. Eggplant is one of our fruiting veg that we're focusing on this time. So it's good. Here's the wonderful flowers that are going to be pollinated very soon. This, this crop has been very well looked after. My peers in the team have been really pushing themselves on this one because we needed a successful crop uh, here at Westgate after a little while. So, a couple of, couple of losses here at Westgate, so we needed to play well. And here we are. We are on the verge of starting to harvest next week first fruits from this one. Westgate Block G. It's using um, uh, 1.5. Investigate Block G. Chakras planting. Egg plant. 
Ona. So, mfunika mbeo mui gretinga mshemoji, hoti kena ngo ina ngo chukulu, kena ngo kangono, mfunika mui gretinga one kabuino. Ija midi ya mui faka kwa heka. So, hapa mpa kontrola, hapa hoti ikulu chungono, iyai. Ingono ingono hili buino mui faka nevi gredi ya kaya. Finias, funi kwa wanyanga na wantu ba ya, ba mwa mwenye chini la ba yana kwa, yana kwa buino. Noti kwa ngono, afaka kwa ngono, oti ngono funi ni kuiva kwa buino, ni kuanza kuiva ngala ina, eh, eh, ati yeye balansa kwa yeye kwa kachi kuru chingono. Hmm, kwenye mbele wakati kwa kujaku nesali ni ni ambi ni nesali bedi. Kosa sifosi ngoshanga tumbi utungo utungo no maningia. Westgate, Blokuji, na shita kuhudi, na mawidi mudi, mudi, kuchosa mchosa mwenye na shita kuhudi step. Kamuga uti pula mo, uti pula mo then. Kacho sa si mao si Betuwi po. Vegetative.
Kupanga kakonde jiko songo kapa muamba. Onani? Izakura. We are here at the West Gate Block G. We are spraying almond bust in eggplant. Yeah, so this crop it has started flowering now. There are flowers, it has started the flowering. It was bad. So, first September, sowing. Then, Kenzo sakira mu ma chani mu manji. Kama ni turi mu tu ma tu ma visitors. Ah, ma tu onate. But see the bad, right? Last year pen zedi fuma ina muri beans ukuja. You onse every plant. In the post scouting, ah, ma kono nda fakat. Kozi yaku ma saidi. problem problem. Decision by my first flowers. Eh? Ah, yeah, my guys. Eh? Uh, first flowers in the uh, harvest. Yeah, first, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more harvest. All on the choice. Eh? Yeah, the Kenya yeah, cool. This is the Fiengan drum. Kambani, my dog. My scientist is when I'm kind of decided. Issue your first flower. You chose a king flower. So I'm kind of decided. So Advantage, obviously, at the choice, you can see the power of the flower. Then I'm going to put it in Then you are next week. The other way, I mean, in new one, is for just some massacres, Mulanga to my plants. The planting that Kakarika no, no, Nishi, Mukacho, some flower. 
Nika jaka na balami mbamuke seven. Eh eh. But planting ati. Niko ready eh. Westgate block G Hapa yafika time Iyo ambo chosa Ma sakazi Eki blunt Until pa V Ma leaf si wansu Kumi ya pansa So vuna usakira wapi sweki Sakiri wapi sweki Antio Pafi Kila wapi sweki at least Rambo chosa ma Masa gazi Na malivi saya Kifika pants Yeah So my hero, now I'm going to tell you that Peter and Genesa are going to be able to do some suckers. So I'm going to be able to do some suckers. I'm going to be able to do some suckers. Joka masaka si masiki brand West Gate Block G Afuka kwa pisweki So na wacha jinga 150 Na palifu mai na vana spray ya kwe Kwa sao ban Muna, manyu leaves was leaf minor. You want to say manyu leaves? And then say my old leaves. And then my old leaves. So manyu leaves. You want to say leaf? I want to get green. so good to be able to see um, a young crop that's doing well and very promising uh, here Westgate Block G we should be harvesting in a couple of days uh, this is how a farmer feels good feels really good at least 
So listen, uh, here on the Mundo Farms channel, we're always sharing our stories with you. Some failures, some successes, some ups and downs, talking about some of the technical stuff that we do in terms of row spacing, plant spacing, times of watering, all this type of stuff that we, we share with you here on the Mondo Farms channel. So if you can, uh, please press the like button if you like what you're seeing and also subscribe to the channel uh, so you can keep getting known and alerted whenever a new video comes and also, um, you know, comment. Tell us a little bit about your stories and ask your questions. By the way, I'm not able to ever tell you budgets and stuff and go into deep numbers because let's let's face it, this is a, a commercial farm. Commercial, commercial growing to be, you know. So we're never really going to tell you all the deep, 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 dark secrets. But we can share uh, what Mr. Panuka describes as tidbits or the tidbits that help uh, guide people along who also want to do similar things to what we're doing around Africa and around the world. So, let's have a quick chat about the uh, spacing here. And what we did is we've got raised beds, uh, which we call here on our farm contriges, and they are 1.5, 1.5, uh, which is our common spacing for a lot of our fruiting, fruiting veg, especially this time of year, 1.5 across. And then on the, the bed itself is about 50, 50 centimeters wide. And then you can see two double line, double drip lines coming off a 432 inch pipe. There's all sorts of plumbing going on here. Plumbing, 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 plumbing. And the actual eggplants themselves are planted diagonally. One, one, one. And we used a 50 centimeter spacing so that when the bush grows, it actually grows out, then it'll be able to have uh, space to express itself. So if I can follow from along this line, let's see, look at the diagonal. So you start from the, then the, the, the. Zig, zag, zig, zag. Sometimes they miss the zag and they zag when they should be zigging, but at least you get the general idea. Zig, zag. You can see again some of the fruits that are coming out there. Yep. When it comes to uh, solanaceous crops like these, there's also issues about um, how you do your pruning, and a lot of the pruning has been done here over the last couple of days. And you can see, so we'll zoom in a bit here, see that? That was one of the V's that was left, and it left the sun leaf, and then the fruit has a chance. So this fruit will obviously be harvested before this one. And when you harvest um, these fruiting vegetables, peppers, tomatoes, eggplants, impuas, whatever, you then, you actually go through in layers where you're going to be taking the bottom ones first and then coming back and taking the, the next ones because they're growing from the bottom upwards. I saw something that caught my eye. I saw a huge eggplant from over there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Proper and nicely hidden in there. Look at that. So this one is coming off a stem and then at the base of the stem there's a V and we let that one go and have its own plants, plants, flowers and then we have the two other flowers. As we try and do our fruit balancing you might find that we will actually remove one or two of these flowers so that we don't want to have too many flowers because again that basically gives too much stress to the, to the plant. We want to have fewer fruits, bigger fruits, better fruits. Similar thing, the uh, parenting is, is guided to say, also balabana maningi, give them some space so that uh, each one will actually perform better. So there you have it, a very, very, very quick video. I didn't actually even mean 
to shoot this video because I haven't had a haircut for a while and a bit of a shave so looking a bit rough because of a little bit of isolation in the family because of the coronavirus that's going around and has come very 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 close to our family but fortunately we are all well so I find myself here at the farm for the first time in quite a few days and I decided wow that's we I really needed to have a good scout around and here we are in one of our most successful crops uh, this eggplant here on Westgate Block G and we should be as I said harvesting the first harvest very soon and we'll be harvesting for many 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 months after that Mondo Farms uh, here on YouTube always glad to have you along so many people across Africa across Zambia are telling us what they appreciate about what we're doing and we're so happy to be sharing so we're always asking you say press the like button comment ask us a question or give us some feedback and also subscribe we shall try and shoot out a video um, around about every ten, seven to ten days or so you know and especially this time of year is really 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 busy so we're not always able to to do as much as we can lots of other projects happening and not to mention family time of course hey quick look at the crop poster before i go yeah this came through just over a month and a bit and already i'm at this stage so very 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 happy with what we have please take care shalini see you again soon bye bye